hello students in this video we will discuss the first subject enrichment activity for class 10th the objective of this activity is to draw the graph of a quadratic polynomial and observe the shape of the curve when case 1 the coefficient of x square is positive case 2 when the coefficient of x square is negative and case 3 नंबर ऑफ जीरोज ऑफ द क्वाड्रेटिक पॉलोमियल मीनिंग हमें एक क्वाड्रेटिक पॉलोमियल का ग्राफ प्लॉट करना है और हमें ये तीन केसेस ऑब्जर्व करने हैं कि जब एक्स स्क्वायर का कोफिशियंट पॉजिटिव है तब आपका ग्राफ कैसा बन रहा है जब एक्स स्क्वायर का कोफिशियंट नेगेटिव है तब आपका ग्राफ कैसा बन रहा है उस ग्राफ में कर्व की शेप क्या है और थर्ड पार्ट में किसी भी क्वाड्रेटिक पॉलोमिल का नंबर ऑफ जीरोस कितने हैं बाय ऑब्जर्विंग इट्स ग्राफ एंड फैक्टराइजेशन मेथड सो व्हाट आर द मटेरियल्स दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर डूइंग दिस एक्टिविटी फर्स्ट इज ग्राफ पेपर टू प्लॉट द ग्राफ ऑफ द क्वाड्रेटिक पॉलोमिल सेकंड इज एडहेसिव फॉर पेस्टिंग द ग्राफ पेपर इन योर प्रैक्टिकल नोटबुक एंड सम स्टेशनरी आइटम पेन पेंसिल इरेजर एंड रूलर so let us start with the procedure for case 1 that is when the coefficient of x square is positive let us consider a quadratic polynomial fx equal to x square right so let us find the solution table for this quadratic polynomial when the value of x is minus 2 let us find the value of fx when x is equal to minus 2 the value of fx will be minus 2 square that is 4 so likewise aap solution table find kar sakte hain i hope you all know how to plot a simple linear equation on graph सो लाइक वाइज हम क्वारिटिक पॉलिमिल को भी ग्राफ में प्लॉट कर सकते हैं सिमिलरली नाउ वेन एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन द वैल्यू विल बी एक्स इक्वल टू माइनस वन द वैल्यू ऑफ एफ एक्स विल बी माइनस वन रेस टू दावर टू दैट इज पॉजिटिव वन ठीक है सो वेन एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो दिस वैल्यू विल बी जीरो and again when x is equal to 1 value of fx will be 1 and when x is equal to 2 the value of fx will be square of 2 that is 4 now we will plot these points on graph so this x consider this your x coordinates and this fx consider it as your y coordinates right now when we plot this these points on graph you can see shape can you identify the shape we call it as parabola p a r a b o l a and this coordinate is minus 2 comma 4 this is minus 1 comma 1 this point is 1 comma 1 and this point is 2 comma 4 also you can observe that it is opening from the upward side right this parabola opens upward so when the coefficient of x square is positive the parabola opens upward right now in the similar manner let us consider the case 2 that is when the coefficient of x square is negative so here i have considered this quadratic polynomial where the coefficient of x square is negative see there is this negative sign in front of this x square so for x equal to 0 can you find the value of this fx see when this x is 0 the only number remaining is 3 so value of fx is 
3. Similarly, now let us find the value when x is equal to 1. So, when x is equal to 1, this value of polynomial will be minus square of 1 minus 2 multiplied by 1 plus 3. So, this will be minus 1 minus 2 plus 3. This will give you minus 3. Minus 3 plus 3. So, the final answer will be 0. So, for x equal to 1, the value of fx is 0. Now, let us see what is the value of this fx when x is equal to minus 1. So, f minus 1 will be equal to, yes, please calculate minus 2 minus 1 plus 3. So, this is minus 1 plus 2 plus 3. Again, minus 1 plus 2 is 1 plus 3 that is 4. So, here the value is 4. So, let us find further two values for x equal to minus 2 and x equal to minus 3. Right? So, here I am writing the direct solution for x equal to minus 2, your value of fx will be 3 and for x equal to minus 3, the value of fx will be 0. You can cross check this solution table by doing it yourself in your rough notebook. Now, since we have find the solution table, let us plot these points on graph. Here again, this all the values of x will represent x coordinates and all the values of fx will represent your y coordinates. Now, when we will plot the points on graph, you will again get the shape of this parabola. So, now let us denote these points. Your first point is 1, 0. Your second point is 0, 3. This third point is minus 1, 4. Your fourth point is minus 2, 3. And then this last point is minus 3, 0. Again, we have obtained the shape of parabola. And this parabola opens downward. So, we can conclude that when the coefficient of x square is negative, right? When the coefficient of x square is negative, the parabola opens downward. Okay. Now, the third case is number of zeros of the polynomial. So, suppose we are considering this polynomial only. Now, looking at this graph, can you tell me how many zeros? this curve is having. See, we have learned and you can clearly observe this, that this parabola is intersecting x-axis at two points, one and this two. So, it must be having two zeros, right? So, fx is minus x square minus 2x plus 3. So, from this graph, we can easily conclude that it has two zeros, right? Now, let us cross-check it algebraically. Set fx is equal to 0 and then using middle term split method, we will find its zeros, right? So, this is minus x square minus 2x plus 3 equal to 0. Now, let us multiply this whole equation by negative 1 so that I get the coefficient of x square as positive. So, this will be x square plus 2x minus 3 equal to 0, right? What I have done is multiplied this by minus 1. So, in the next step, I can use this middle term split method x square minus x plus 3x minus 3 equal to 0. 
right this 2x can be written as minus x plus 3x now from the first two terms take x common this will give me x minus 1 and from the next two term terms take 3 common so this will be x minus 1 equal to 0. So in the next step I can write x minus 1 common and remaining terms x plus 3 equal to 0. So clearly you can see x is equal to 1 or x equal to minus 3. So I have obtained two zeros x equal to 1 and x equal to minus 3. And you can also see it on this graph. So, what we have learned from this activity is that the shape of the curve obtained in each case is parabola. Right? This parabola opens upward when the coefficient of x square is positive. And it opens downward when the coefficient of x square is negative. And the maximum number of zeros which a quadratic polynomial can have is 2. I hope you all have understand this activity. You can find the link for this activity or the PDF of this activity in the description link. Please write it down in your practical notebook. Thank you and have a nice day. Keep learning.